Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, hello, guys. everybody. Cool. Hey. Thank you guys so much for being here. I think we are over 700 people strong right now in our live stream, which is so cool. So I'm very happy that everybody is here. Please, everyone, say hello to Gus. Hello, everybody. Hi, Elisa. Well, hello, Gus. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah you guys. On? Oh, you know, just um, staying at home and uh, crying every day, wanting to be on tour, like I think you probably are also. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. But I'm glad that we, uh, we're getting to do this now. How cool. Yeah, yeah. This is really... So anyone that's um, watching the stream right now, um, Gus and I have been wanting to collaborate for like probably over a decade. And so yep. this... Uh, situation just sort of like propelled this kind of unexpected way to collaborate that normally we wouldn't have thought of doing. Uh, it's pretty unconventional, but I'm sure you guys have seen that a lot of musicians are turning to these sort of live streaming platforms right now, which is great that we have this ability to do this. And um, yeah, you know, even being in completely different parts of the world, we're able to come together with our fans and, and do something like this, which is really cool. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, this um, this is great, and um, I mean, this was a. I, I hope you won't mind if I say it was quite a task to put us together because I and I have to give kudos to you because you really wanted to <laughs> do it really as good as possible, like you know, have the audio set up as good as possible, like everything, you know, looking into every little detail, you know, from going into Crowdcast and you know hooking yeah. up with this <laughs> stuff. So, so we so we give as you know. We give people as good of as possible of a experience here and a hangout, you know. Rather yeah. Than just like logging in through a phone or something, and um, and also maybe we should mention um, we were trying to find out wh what was the best way to do this and how we can jam from being in two different parts in the world. You're in Montreal, I am in in Greece in Thessaloniki. So yeah, like we were wondering for a few days, how do we do this? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we... totally. Yeah. yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, it's, so just so you guys know, it's been quite a task for, for us to actually make this work. Um, oh, <laughs> Patricia is saying, speak more slowly, please. Okay, yeah, I know, I ramble, I speak so fast. I will go as slowly as I can. And also, yeah. just so you guys, because I see some people are um, commenting that they can't hear us, um, on our end, it looks good. If you're having trouble hearing uh, Gus or me, or if the video is looking a little weird, up in the corner, you should see a button that says help. And if you click on that, it might give you an option so that you can hear us better. Um, if anybody has that issue, um, search around your page and you should be able to see uh, a way that somebody's, it'll... Somebody's, a lot of people are commenting they cannot hear me that well. How's that now, guys? Is this better? Is this louder? It's I hear you now. really well. You do, huh? Yeah. Um, but also, to... you know, like, I, I was talking really close to the microphone, so I'll back off. Yeah, <laughs> um, Yeah. okay, cool. So, yeah, hopefully most people can hear us and see us just fine. Um, yeah, we were trying to, I just, you know, I wanted to make it as close as possible to just, like, a live meet and greet or a live show. Uh, so we've been working, Gus and I have been working all week trying to figure out exactly how to do this. So hopefully this is going to be um, a nice quality uh, video and nice quality audio um, uh, for you guys to watch. Um, well, basically, the, the only way, I don't know if I'm too loud now. I don't know. I, I touched no, you, well, here, you sound good to me. So. Okay. But yeah. the, the way we did this is uh, in order to, there was like no way to avoid latency issues. Like if we were yeah. going to jam. So I, I'm explaining so people know what to expect now so because uh, you know there was no way that i can go live and then you sing on the other side and then you know being on on time together so we figured out another way to do this so basically i sat here in, in this very room and i recorded um, a couple of tracks which i then sent over to elisa and um she's going to roll she's going to sing for you guys yeah. and um use the uh, her ipad with my uh video track integrated in there yeah so i have yeah so 
if any of you guys are uh, musicians, then you are very well aware of the fact that you can't sync music over a stream like this. It's just, it can't be done. Like if you're FaceTiming or you're video chatting with someone, then it's fine because there's a little tiny millisecond of a delay, but it, you don't notice it in conversation. But in music, that delay is a big problem actually. So, um, so yeah, this is the solution that Gus and I came to um, where he recorded the accompaniment, which uh, I will use to sing some songs live and Gus will also play songs live. And while I'm singing, uh, Gus will join you guys in the audience and he will uh, just answer some comments while I'm singing and then we'll switch places and I'll sit in the audience with you guys and uh, answer some comments. And uh, yeah, and we're going to go that way. We're going to roll like that. And so I don't know if you can see, but obviously today's event is called Together at Home. And the reason that we're doing this uh, is because we're trying to help the World Health Organization get the funds and get the attention that they need in order to combat this virus, which obviously has been not so much fun for anyone to be dealing with right now. Um, hang on, let me get uh, iPad Gus all loaded up. Um, <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we could all just have a, a Gus in our iPads? I do. Um, but yeah, so sure basically... There will, be, there will come a day where we can do hologram live streams, like we can just, uh, or like te tele-transfer or what, tele what do you call it, teleprompt? Teleport? I know. I always thought teleport, teleporting yeah. would be great for touring because then you could just go play your show, you sleep teleport your to your night. shower, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yep. But I know I'm not alone when I say that right now. I would be so happy just to be on any plane, any tour bus, anywhere, going to any show. Um, but yeah, so obviously you guys in the audience, you've seen it. Bands are are, uh, are taking a hard hit right now, but we all are. And so that's why we wanted to do something like this anyways. We, we were talking about this for a long time now. Just how can we bring some music to people so that while we're all stuck at home and we're all kind of like bumming out at home, we can actually still bring you some music and bring some joy and uh so that's so that's what we're aiming to do right now uh with the live streams and uh yeah i'm just giving a little bit more time i want uh i want to make sure everybody who is planning on joining the live stream has time to get in here and then once uh once we think everybody's here then we're gonna just start doing some some music but um I hope you guys are I hope you guys are safe and healthy and you're washing your hands and you're you're staying home. Um it seems really weird to say this. <laughs> Wash your hands, people. <laughs> yeah, I mean normally I'm like put up your horns and I'm like actually put them in the sink and for 20 seconds, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but you know what we're all like like the name of this thing together at home we we are all in this together. So obviously um it is kind of comforting, isn't it, that we're, it's happening to everybody now. So we're, we're like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it yeah, helps it's like the depression a little bit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it does for sure. Like, obviously we, nobody is, is comfortable right now. Nobody is like happy about what's going on, but we are all dealing with it at the same time. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're, you know, this is a new thing that's happening for all of us and we're all trying to adapt and i sincerely sincerely hope it's going to go back to normal eventually um, but until then at least we can get together and do some little some little songs uh here and so we are at we are at, sorry sorry gus i ramble please <laughs> no it's all good i thought I, I think everybody really is waiting there's over a thousand people i think they're all waiting yeah. for you to sing and i can't wait as well to hear you sing so how about yeah sing a song for us yeah let's do it so guys um, we're gonna we're gonna start off soft. This is a song that uh, I think is really beautiful. I used to sing it all the time a cappella with my friends, just laying beautiful layers of harmony on it. I think it's a song you'll know, and uh, it's not a metal song, but I think a lot of metalheads do appreciate this song. So we're gonna do this. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the stage. Okay. And here we go. And I'm gonna perform 
for you guys a song called Yesterday. Yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though they're here to stay Oh, I believe in yesterday Suddenly I'm not half the man I used to be There's a shadow hanging over me Oh, yesterday came suddenly Why she had to go I don't know she wouldn't say I said something wrong Now I long for yesterday Yesterday Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh, I believe in yesterday Why she had to go I don't know, she wouldn't say I said something wrong Now I long for yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh, I believe in yesterday ah, ah, ah. Yeah There you go Amazing. guys I hope Everybody you enjoy Clap emojis <laughs> Yeah I know it's so weird to just like do this And then be like guys what Are you there are you there Um so yeah <laughs> So there you go. That's that's uh, one song that I have always enjoyed. I've always loved singing it. And I think that right now, you know, we can all kind of appreciate the sentiment of uh, of uh, being a little nostalgic to the way the world was before. But also, I think we have to not only think about yesterday, but also think about um, tomorrow. And most importantly, just think about today, because all we can do right now is take this one day at a time, um, you know. Even even just one, even like 10 minutes at a time, an hour at a time. Right now, the only thing that you guys, we have over 1,100 people there. The only thing that we need to focus on right now is just being here together, um, enjoying enjoying the music. Uh, and, uh, and, and yeah, and I, I encourage you all to just keep an eye open because like here on Crowdcast, I know there's a lot of amazing artists doing live performances, obviously on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, any platforms that artists use, there's a lot of really cool um, live performances going on. So as long as we can stay connected in this way, I think we're going to be just fine and we're going to get through this. So, um, so yeah, thank you guys for being here and thank you for listening to, uh, to that first song. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is cool. It's fun. I think we should do more of this. What do you think, Gus? I certainly think so. I would love to do some more. Mm -hmm. so um yeah 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 this is really cool i think um one second should we uh to, I, I was wondering i wanted to say alisa to, um maybe we should give some info before before the next song maybe this, we should, should talk a little bit about how we met because maybe people don't yeah. really know how we actually you know got to to become friends and um we actually you you guys know i've known we met actually 
in 2007 so we go back like 13 years you know yeah <laughs> it's funny the, the metal world is so interconnected and i'm not even sure if if people realize like when i i assume people think we everyone knows everyone but i don't know if they actually know when like we're friends but yeah we've been friends for like a long time now yeah actually uh we met it was um, our first american tour with firewind And oh, I didn't even was, realize uh, that was the first one. That was our first U.S. tour ever with the band. Wow, you know? wow. And uh, yeah, that was with your previous band. We were touring and uh, we were both supporting, um, so not Arctica, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, that's right. I think I that might have been one of, that was like one of my first full-fledged tours as well, I think. I like think, I had yeah, done small like regional tours, for you guys but too. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, uh, like, yeah. the memory that I always have of, of uh, you and me was, like, when we did that joint uh, interview uh, backstage at the B.B. Uh, King's Club in New York City. There was, like, yes, this journalist. Yes, I remember. I, yeah. <laughs> I know what <laughs> you're going to say. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm, yeah. It's a, so, it's like, there was this journalist. We, we did, like, separate interviews. I don't know if, who went first. But then, in the end, like, we want to do something with the two of you. We're like, okay, then what? And then, like take a piece of paper and draw something for us, like a unique yeah, yeah, drawing. Yeah. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not. <laughs> But you draw And I was like, well. all right, bring you out the like, oil paint. <laughs> <laughs> I had you pose nude and I did a full uh, Rembrandt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember... no, that's, that's right. Sorry, I remember but... that. Yeah. Yeah. But you were, you, you, you were drawing very well. I remember that too. And, uh, and we stood there with our, with our, paintings next to each other took a photo i think it's must be somewhere online still i have to yeah. find that photo i have to google it somehow and all yeah i, I don't know it's like some some like smiley face like that's all i Just could like do a like a blue like a, circle like, <laughs> like yeah like, yeah like a like a, like a three-year-old baby drawing or something <laughs> <laughs> you know i don't remember what those drawings looked like but i would love to see i wonder if i still have it somewhere or did the journalist keep it did we I, keep I it think they, no, i think i think uh Maybe they took it, or I don't know. Huh. It's too too long ago. I can't remember. That's true, There's but no that that was kind of a cool idea, though. Actually, the whole like draw a uh, draw something for each other's bands, or was it like we had to draw our album art or something? Was maybe, that it? Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we just both, yeah, that was pretty funny. Maybe actually. they wanted to us to uh, exchange drawings, or I don't know. Like, yeah, it's it's a cool idea if you can draw. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you can't. So <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah, um, it was a uh, it, it was fun for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy that that was already like yeah, fourteen or thirteen years ago. It feels yeah like it was not that long ago, honestly. Mm -hmm. But the funny Time thing flies. also is that, and this is where my memories are sort of mixing up. But you actually also played in Arch Enemy. I don't know if people yeah. even know that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't think if I, I don't know if anybody knows or remembers, but um, I was there for like five minutes as a touring guitar player for a, a, a summer tour. It was the Ozfest. So so technically we have been bandmates, but in different time. Uh, That's in right. Different times. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's funny because we were talking about this and and I have like a specific memory of arch enemy playing a show in montreal back in like 2008 or or something like that and in my head i watched this show and gus was the one playing in in the in that slot it was michael and gus on guitars in my head but now that i revisit this that is not the case like chris amott was no. definitely there but the yes. thing is Firewind was on that tour with Arch Enemy, and that's why I had this memory that you were there. Yeah, so we were all there, but in different bands. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah. remember I, and it's funny because the dudes in my band still remember this. I baked a bunch of like vegan chocolate chip cookies, like super delicious with like the walnuts and the, you know, I baked all these cookies, and I showed up in the venue during sound check with like a big Tupperware full of cookies for for you and for Angela and for everybody to, to take part in and right. eat the cookies. And uh, I brought them backstage and I'm not sure if anyone other than me was eating them. <laughs> I might have eaten all the cookies I'm I brought. Pretty, I'm pretty positive I, I tried because I never okay. say no to cookies or sweets. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. They were pretty good, and I can't seem to make them again. I feel like I fail as a as a baker now. But <sighs> Well, you've been busy, you know. It's not like but you that's... sit there baking cookies. So. Well, and also what <laughs> nobody really realizes is that that was a bribe, and that is how I became the singer in Arch Enemy. It was the that cookies. Was yeah, that was it. So now everybody knows the truth. And uh, <laughs> that's how you got in. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If your cookies are good enough, you can make anything happen. <laughs> oh, my God. OK, so, yeah, we're, we're going off on a tangent here. I always do this when I do live streams. I just I, I don't know. My brain goes a million miles an hour. But I'm sure that everyone would also love to hear you play. And so for anyone that's just joining us now, because I do see that we have over 1,200 people yeah. uh, in here right now, I'm just going to repeat. So if you've been here the whole time, I apologize for repeating. But of course, this live stream that we're doing right now is part of a series that is hashtag together at home. And it's an initiative put forth by Global Citizen and the World Health Organization uh, in conjunction with different artists, because um, obviously artists are being hit really hard right now by everything that's going on, but so is everybody else. And as artists, we feel that it's our responsibility and it's our purpose in life to bring you guys joy, bring you some distraction, bring you some music, some songs that can make you feel all sorts of different emotions. And that's what we love to do. And so that's why we are collaborating in this way. And I'm sure you guys have also seen um, Tarja and Elise and Simone uh, did this before me. And then last week, Simone handed me the microphone. And so that's why we're doing this right now. Obviously, we want um, the World Health Organization to have the funds and the awareness that they need to tackle this freaking virus and also obviously be able to prepare for future pandemics everything's pretty uncertain right now and nobody really knows um what to expect or or, or how this yeah, is nobody working can predict anything now so yeah yeah so it's kind of funny when they ask like when are the next tours going to be like nobody can say like it's it's like if doctors can't say how can you know people from the music industry know when then when shows are actually going to start being exactly put back together you know but um but, but I do I think, think that... it's go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. Please, please go. I just I was just <laughs> gonna say I think it's important that we all do our part now. You know, it's um, to flatten the curve and then so this so we can that's that's the the biggest uh, weapon we have now in our hands to stay home, stay inside, and so that so that the the virus is weak. Yeah, yeah. I think that's one one thing that I do have to say. I mean, and I'm not trying to just like, you know, view the world through rose tinted glasses but one thing that i do have to say is is really beautiful is that everyone is going through the same thing and everybody is calling upon their own strengths to fight this sort of like common enemy that everybody has you know so obviously healthcare healthcare workers are working so hard putting so much on the line and so another reason that we're doing this live stream is just as a huge thank you for healthcare worker, workers, essential workers, people working in the grocery store, in sanitation, uh, driving public transportation, veterinarians, like there's, the list goes on of people who are still doing their jobs right now, despite everything. Basically so, anybody that gets up in the morning to still go to work and basically yeah. risking their health yeah, for us, you yeah. know, to be able to stay at home. Yeah, exactly. Massive and so, yeah, we have to say a huge thank you to any of you who are in the chat right now, if you are uh, among among those people and you are um, working every day, I know it's long hours and I know it's really scary. So thank you so much for being brave and for doing that. Everybody appreciates that. And so for Gus and I, um, what we can do is provide you with some music. You know, that's uh, I, I, I do think it's it's quite essential as well. Um, I know that especially right now, music is something that helps people get through hard times. And it, uh, you know, it's the soundtrack to the best days in our lives, the worst days in our lives. And so I think that, yeah, I think that artists are, are all stepping up and uh, doing their part as well um, to bring this kind of um, just momentary distraction to everybody. And, uh, and that's why I just want to have everybody here feeling good, feeling happy, even if it's just for right now. Um, you know, that's that's all we ask. So so thank you guys for being here. I do see that we're at over 1300 people now, which is so cool. And uh, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. Um, just to just to you know, backtrack, Lisa, there's a 
there's a lot of people from Greece here too, and uh, most yeah. of them are my cousins, and I have a big family here. So, is that <laughs> thousand, true? Because I every, yeah. all Greek people are related, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, what yeah, I've been told. Related. Okay. Yeah. So, it's my, yeah. so a thousand <laughs> of them, of these thirteen hundred people, yeah, it's my family basically. Yeah, aunties and uh, cousins, and I don't know people I never met. <laughs> <laughs> That's super super cool. So yeah, let's. You know what? Before we move on. Yeah. Since the numbers, the number of people attending right now is just growing, why don't we um, just jump into the comments? Like, um, feel free to say hello to everyone. And I see people are already doing that. We have um, Washington State, Brazil, the UK. Um, let us know where you're from. I think I see, Argentina. I saw the Argentina flag fly by, Greek flag. Um, so yeah, uh, let us know where you're from. I hope that this platform also serves as a way for you to meet new friends, uh, for to connect with other people who are. Uh, fans of Arch Enemy or Firewind or just metalheads in general. Uh, Costa Rica, Italy, Germany, Texas, Romania, Mexico, Austria, Spain. Wow, that is so cool. That is awesome. I'm so happy that you guys are here. And uh, yeah, um, all I can say is that this is really cool. And Gus and I have been planning to collaborate for quite some time. And we've already exchanged uh, musical ideas before this. Um, but now we're just doing it in this in this way. And if you are just joining us now, unfortunately, there is no way uh, to play music at the same time when you're not in the same room. Uh, I know that everyone is used to like video chatting where you can just talk to someone and it feels like you're in the same room, but there's always like a microscopic delay. And that delay is a big problem when it comes to music. Like Gus and I tried it. Like I said, okay, just play something and I'm gonna sing to it. And on my end, I was singing on time, but to him, it was like I was yeah. behind the beat. So uh, to remedy Believe that, us, we tried. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we've been working on on trying to find a way to get this done for a long time. So. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So basically, I just performed the song yesterday, which I'm sure you guys know. It's a beautiful song. It's not metal, but like to me, it is metal because it's so unique. And I just love the chords in it. I think the lyrics are awesome. So I just performed that with um a pre-recording that gus had provided for me just for this event and now yeah. um if you're ready we can i can give the stage to gus and he will mm -hmm. perform a song live for us and in the meantime i'll just sit in the audience in the comment section and we can enjoy it together so does that work for you gus absolutely yes all right Thank okay you. so i'm i'm handing you the stage okay so um basically this is also another thing that we were trying to figure out how to make it work um so i can play something live for you guys and maybe play something a bit i mean uh, as you can see i'm holding electric guitar not acoustic so i thought i'd do um i hope this is gonna go down well because <laughs> i was having some technical glitches so please forgive me if the sound is not the best i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna play one of my um solo songs from uh, from a solo album I put a couple of years ago. It's called Fearless. So here we go. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Fill that oh, chat cool. with the clapping emoji. If you can yeah. find it, put that clapping emoji in. That was fucking oh. sick. Oh, am I not supposed to swear? Fun. Sorry, I have the mouth of a trucker. That was so cool. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> Guys, did you love that? I thought that was amazing. Thank that you. Was thank sick. you. Thank you. Yeah, that is. I so hope, what, uh... Sorry, what was the ahead. name of that song? Because a lot of people were asking. That... Yeah, that song is called Fearless. It's uh, one of my solo tracks. Okay. Yeah, came out a couple of years ago, so yeah, I hope people enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Here I am swearing. It was cool to again. do something. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't uh, stop ah, the emotions. Yeah, that was great. That was super super. Yeah, cool. cool. Thank you. Thank you. And so well, you, I don't, we were wondering about the sound, but I hope it. I, I think it came out okay in the end. But... Yeah, I mean it's. So, yeah, it's really hard to get a good sound. And one of the reasons that we um, are doing it here instead of just like simply on Instagram or something like that is because the video quality sound, uh, the video quality and the audio quality is generally better here. And so we wanted to make this like as close to a live experience as possible. Um, so we uh, so, yeah, we, we we really, really, really tried. And so I hope that you yeah, guys are enjoying yeah. it. I really enjoyed that. To me, it sounded fantastic. Like it sounded perfect. So great. Yeah, yeah Lisa. Let me ask you. Uh, um, I know we've been talking about this for for a while now, and I know you've talked, you've communicated this also to to your fan base and people that follow you. <clears throat> uh, you've been working on a, a solo project, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. For a while. So maybe tell us a little bit about that. Update us about it. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of you know that I've been working on a solo thing, and um, and Gus and I have actually spoken and uh, exchanged ideas for that as well, which is super cool. But uh, yeah, so basically, I don't know if you guys, um, you know, it probably doesn't look like I'm at home right now, but I actually am. I'm in uh, my home studio that basically a couple years ago when um, Angela suggested the idea of doing a solo album, I knew that I was going to have to become a lot more independent when it came to recording tracking accompanying myself and so i set on this like huge journey where i had to first get the gear that i need to do all of that learn how to self-engineer um build this 
studio that I'm standing in right now. This is actually um, where I record all of my guest vocals. So like the vocals that you heard on, for example, Carnifex's No Light Shall Save Us was recorded right here. Um, so, some of Will to Power, the last Arch Enemy album, was recorded right here. Um, so, so yeah, this is I actually... Say, working with you the past week to put this event together, you I learned quite a few things from you regarding like technical stuff and audio stuff you you got this down like oh thank great, you like, big time yeah 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 well and, you know uh, it's this is like your you've you've built this booth right there where you're you're at and you've you built like the whole your own home studio with your yeah. own hands which is yeah amazing. yeah so this i i literally built myself um well i had i had help of course but we I, I built myself a studio so that i would be able to independently record ideas record guest vocals um got myself some guitars teaching myself to play guitar but of course you know i have amazing friends like you and jeff and michael and doyle who are amazing guitar players so i have no um complaints about resources when it comes to having potential teachers um but yeah so that's basically the journey that i've been on with my solo album i've been I, I literally had to start from ground zero and work up from there. And every day that I would work on it, I would just discover a new thing that I needed to learn or a piece of gear that I needed. So like you were saying, like in a way, necessity is the mother of invention or in the mother of uh, education. Absolutely. Yeah. So I would realize like, hang on, I don't know how to get this. And then I would have to learn how to do it. And um, so that's, so that's what I've been doing. And so now I'm at the point where I have, uh, several songs recorded and, uh, so many ideas with so many collaborators, cool collaborators like yourself. And, uh, I've just well, been, if, you, if you're not finished with it, give me a shout if you need something, whether it's like a, even a small solo or yeah. from a riff to a song or whatever it is, let me know. If Absolutely. Oh, thank I'm, you. I'm going on record here. I'm saying this. So yeah, you can guys hear. can hold him. You guys can hold him to this because this is uh, all in evidence right now. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I've been recording that. Um, I was actually, um, uh, I was in New York in a studio working on it and then, uh, and that was March 12th and then the United States started shutting the borders. And so I had to leave and get back to Canada. Um, I don't know if people realize this, but I'm Canadian. I'm not from Sweden and I'm not from the States. So, um, I had to get back to Canada. So it, I, I got a little bit interrupted, um, on that end of things, but it's okay because like I said, I can do it here. Um, so yeah, I'm just working on it every day and, um, you know, trying to stay focused. And uh, even though it's a little bit hard to do that sometimes when you have like so much stress from this pandemic going on, but, uh, it's a lot of stuff hitting us right now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, and also the other thing is that people think, you know, we're, we're all on lockdown and we are at home, like, basically doing nothing but you know it doesn't that does not mean that you feel super inspired every day to to finish a project or a new song you know it's it has its ups and its downs like like everybody mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um absolutely and so what uh what about you like what's going on with your work with firewind because i know you were supposed to be on tour right now right Right, well, starting in a few weeks, yeah. So maybe right. for the people that I don't know who I am, actually, I should say that I play in a band called Firewind. Uh, I think everyone knows who you are, but <laughs> okay, yeah, just saying. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, we've we managed to finish this new Firewind album, like back in February. Delivered the masters. You know how it is. You you, you put the plan together. We we're gonna start the big North American tour with Symphony X. Um, playing like 30 shows and like, you know, the rest of the year was kind of like slowly coming together. You know how that goes, like a big touring cycle, yeah. going to Europe and all wonderful places around the world. And then this <laughs> pandemic, everything is canceled. Um, yeah. So, I mean, we are continuing with the album release as of now. And we have released like uh, the first single and two weeks from now, I think April 30th, we are putting out the second single. And the album awesome. will come out May fifteenth. Uh, okay, May fifteenth. May fifteenth. May fifteenth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> but anyways, but you know, we we're gonna go out there and and play again, just like you guys. You know, whenever the world's safe again. Yeah. Well, does that mean is is it in a year from now? Who knows? We'll see. We'll oh. take it day by day. Yeah, we have to. We have to just take it, you know, one day at a time. And uh, yeah. And you know, uh, again, just to try to be like. Uh, the eternal optimist here, there is a silver lining, which is that 
we do live in the age of social media and the internet. So we're still able to connect like this. We're able to connect with our family and friends because even just maybe like 10, 12, 15 years ago, it would have been a lot more difficult to be completely isolated um, and not have access to your friends and family. Cause I mean, even just seeing them on a screen, it's better than only hearing their voice or only seeing a text. So true. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine like, if, like you say, if it was like, this was 20 years ago and then, you couldn't see anybody and you couldn't connect with anybody and just from like a shitty landline or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, like when, like when we first started touring and you had to like go to the truck stop and get in the phone booth with like a little prepaid card that never had the amount of minutes that it said it had, but that was how you made international long distance calls and then you call and it would get cut off after five minutes, just trying to call I, home. I, I'm I sure don't even it's... remember. I don't even remember how many quarters I had to put in back then when I was with Arch Enemy. We were on yeah. Ospest and try to call mom and dad back home in, to Greece, you know, from a payphone. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, but... yeah absolutely. And so um, I think this live stream is going to be about an hour long. That's usually um, what I do when I do live streams. So we're going to perform another song. But before I do yeah. that, I want... <laughs> I think this would be super cool. So we're going to perform an Arch Enemy song, but we're doing an acoustic version of it. And if you're just joining us now, because I do see that we have almost 1400, uh, almost 1500 attendees. If you're just joining us now, there's no way for us to in real time synchronize with music. There's, a, there's always a little bit of a delay. Even when we're having a conversation, there's a tiny bit of a delay. So the only way to make it happen is Gus actually recorded uh, ahead of time, he recorded uh, the this, this song on an acoustic guitar. And so I have a, a, an iPad, Gus, that will be accompanying me for the next song. But I also want you guys to accompany me. So my idea is if you're watching this on your phone, go grab your laptop. If you're watching this on your laptop, go grab your phone or your iPad or whatever. I want you to film yourself singing this next song with me. Because this next song always gets a huge crowd sing along when we perform it live and it always feels so good and i think the lyrics are like very relevant right now um maybe more than ever so i want everyone to just take a second go grab your device i'll give you time to do that and then come back and just film yourself and if you do this and you film yourself and you can see me in the background singing and and gus on the ipad and yourself singing with me and, you f and you're comfortable with that, you can post it on your social media, you can tag me on it, because I would love to see that myself. So just tag me or tag Gus or tag Arch Enemy so we can see it, because I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, and of course, the whole point of this is just to spread joy and uh, spread, uh, I, I would say spread awareness, but everyone's pretty much aware of what's going on. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to say knows. spread, yeah, nobody's in the dark about this. So, And um, if you guys do this, Alisa <laughs> will also bake you uh, her famous cookies yes exactly <laughs> i'll make those cookies and it's funny because yeah. i have i have fans sometimes that come to meet and greets and they bring me cookies that they made and i was like there you go that really was a good idea because this is awesome so <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so i mean go. obviously right now everybody's practicing this physical distancing and and we can't um be together physically which i know this is not the same but we're doing the best we can to make this uh, as close as possible to sort of a meet and greet mixed with a concert. Um, but it's also more than just a concert. We, we really want everybody to be vigilant, take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones, you know, keep that, that social distance, uh, wash your hands. Of course, I'm again, I'm not trying to be your mom here, but like, you know, keep the hand washing, uh, you know, be really, really vigilant with that because we, we just don't know. We just don't know. So I think it's better to be prepared and, and be cautious um, than, than to be sorry. So I really, really um, want to reiterate one more time before we get into the last song, a huge, huge thank you. Every word I'm singing, every note that Gus is playing is in appreciation for everybody that is still working right now to help directly combat this, to help society continue rolling. There's so many people in positions that are so important, so important. Even people just you know, anyone that has to get up and go to work is responsible for the continuing of society right now. Um, and that's why we're doing this too. We're trying to do our part. What we do is music. And so that's, um, and so that's what we're doing now. And, 
and thank all of you for for being a part of this live stream and for um yes, for joining you. us now so um if you guys are ready i'm going to take the stage and gus Lock will it, be yeah and so gus will be uh sitting in the audience with you guys for this one and uh i will turn to ipad gus and uh we're gonna do a song now called reason to believe so you guys know this song i want you to sing it with me and uh yeah let's make this count let's make it count here we go <laughs>
Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> thank you. I hope you guys like that. Um, and thank thank you to this Gus as well for uh, for being a part of that. The iGus. The iGus. Oh my God. I see the marketing opportunities already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so no, it was a it was a pleasure doing these songs uh with you alisa and um it was it was great i mean i i wish we had you were able to do it you know i was able to play with I you know, while you sing I now know. but you know this was really cool that we found a way out of this to do it like that so um yeah i, don't know, I yeah. was just very it was a really good feeling for me watching this you know live now with the with the people it was great yeah totally totally i mean there's something special about about being able to to do something live, you know? Um, obviously, if we were gonna just like record it together and put our parts together, we could release that and I could be singing on, on your tracks and you could be playing right next to me on my yeah. tracks, but it wouldn't be live. And so this was the thing that we found that would allow us to still collaborate, but, uh, and still be doing it live, but- um, Yeah, this is the real deal, like yeah, live. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, so I know that song, uh, that song is was written by Michael, and it's um, it's always been hard for me to play live, actually, because I get super emotional with that song, um, especially when I look in, and... yeah, it's beautiful, and you did a fantastic job, by the way, playing, like, learning it all, putting it for an acoustic guitar, like, yeah, kudos. I, I try my best, there's a lot of... There's there's a lot of great guitar work in this song that I could not replicate because obviously there's great melodies from Michael and um, yeah. and Jeff. You know they they do. I mean they're two of my favorite guitar players. They're both legends. So um, it was I, just I it was an honor to to play this stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah, so. and I I think it's cool also just to be able to join worlds like this because I like I said before I'm not sure if everybody even. Um, you know, realize that we've been friends for so long and that we've been in the same band, um, right. which is uh, which is cool. You know, all these little stories are really, really cool and we know them, but it's fun to share them with um, it's fun to share them with uh, with the fans as well. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. So to to me, this was like better late than never, because I know, you know, we've had busy schedules over the years. We We have talked about collaborating even from the days back when I was making my first solo record. And I was yeah. talking to you about hopefully doing something together. But, That's right. You know. yeah. yeah. So th there's been a couple of times that we almost did we did collaborate, but it didn't happen. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And so now finally it is. Well, I'm yeah. glad we're doing it this way now. And uh, I, I'm hoping this can be the, the beginning of more stuff to come. Absolutely. And so, you know, you guys let us know. Um, this is the first time that uh, I've performed songs live I, th I think well okay not okay i've obviously performed a lot of concerts but i think this is the first time that i've performed songs in a live stream like this and uh, as we said before unfortunately technically speaking there's no way for us to be synchronized if we're both yeah. um contributing our our musical parts into the same live stream it just cannot happen technically but i like this workaround and i think it's still um i think it's still really cool so you guys let us know um if if uh, if you like it and maybe we can make a thing out of this maybe we can make a series out of it i truly enjoy it um and uh, i hope you guys sang along with me on reason to believe because i love when people sing that song with me and, uh, and like i said i always get a little lump in my throat with it because it's just a really powerful song and and it speaks to me in a deep way and i know it does for a lot of you as well um but yeah so that almost concludes our together at home thing yeah um, and so what I would like to do, actually, um, as you guys know, um, this, of course, was put on by Global Citizen and the World Health Organization, hashtag together at home. And the purpose is to um, bring artists um, together with their fans to sort of empower each other during this really, really difficult time, uh, encourage each other to stay vigilant, stay home, wash your hands. Again, I'm doing that. I know you guys are doing that too. And I really, really, really hope, I hope, 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 hope that this is all going to be super effective and that there will be no more lives lost and we can all just return to the the, the life that we love so much. Um, and of course, back to, to concerts and, and, and music. And um, yeah, I know that that's, that's a hard one. That's a hard one to swallow is that there's no um, concerts right now. Um, but as, as many of you pointed out, even before I announced this, um, 
Simone from Epica did her stream with Oliver Palatai, who I have toured with many times since he is in Camelot and I also sang in Camelot. Um, they did their live stream together and Simone graciously handed me the microphone. And so now I uh, would like to invite my own person onto the screen, which I don't know if you guys can see her. I can't, but can we hear you? Hello. Hello? Ah, okay. So anyone recognize that hello? If you can't see her, do you recognize her voice? Hello, I will talk so you have a chance to recognize the voice. All right, let's see in the chat. Does anyone know who, who I am passing the microphone to? I don't see her video, but I do hear her voice. Anyone recognize that? Oh, look at that. They're doing well. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is Charlotte. Charlotte Vessels will be taking the mic from me. Um, so she is the next in line. It is now Charlotte's turn. Um, you guys know that I have sang with Delane many times uh, on albums, on DVDs. I totally, totally love Delane. Charlotte is an amazing vocalist. She's one of my favorites. I'm sure I don't have to introduce her to you guys. I'm sure you know who she is. But in case you don't, She's the vocalist of Delane, multi-talented, intelligent, artistic, amazing woman. So I'm very, very happy to give the microphone now to her so that she can take this over. So Charlotte, are you ready? Uh, well, not yet, but I have a week to get ready. I am looking forward to it so much. Uh, I've been pretending like my camera doesn't work because like many people in quarantine, I am, of course, unwashed for a week and in my pajamas. <laughs> So um, it's good to know that I have some days to get ready. I just watched your live stream and I absolutely loved it. You guys are both absolutely oh, you. great. You did so well and it was such a pleasure to watch. Thank you very much for passing on the mic and you did amazing. Thank you. Oh, yay. All right. So yeah, Charlotte is next in line. So I will, um, I don't know if you guys could see her. I couldn't, but I did hear her. Um, so I will just remove her now. And so it's back to me and Gus, but you guys know um, what to expect. You guys know that the next stream that's going to happen like this for this uh, Together at Home series will be with Charlotte. Um, and of course, Charlotte is also in a similar situation to me where there's a lot of technical things to work out to be able to have that accompaniment uh, happening since we, we actually can't... Um, we can't be in the same room as our bands. Um, even if you live in the same town as your band, I mean, here anyways, I'm not sure how the rules are everywhere else, but here you're not supposed to visit other people's houses. Like that's part of the physical distancing. So I'm respecting that. Um, and uh, yeah. Same for here. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is a really cool way. I'm not sure if anyone else has done it this way um, prior, but I've really enjoyed this. Um, getting to hear your your song live getting to sing with this not live but almost live version of you i mean it was live at one point you know it's kind unedited cheated. yeah yeah so yeah yeah <laughs> it's like... um it was a live yeah. pre-recorded but yeah yeah it was, cool. it was yeah it was live pre-recorded but it was still you know it's still live and it's uh and it was cool for me too to sing to some acoustic songs because i, have to I... say this is one of the most innovative ways that i've ever seen anybody come up with how to do it so <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I have a, when there's a problem, I cannot sleep until I find a solution. So I've been working really hard and you have too. So thank you, Gus, so much for joining me today. Um, thank thank you. all of you 1500 plus people for joining us in the chat and for watching our live stream. Super, super cool. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, like this platform. Uh, there are many reasons why I decided to do it here. I just thought the video and audio quality would be better here than, um, than on Instagram. And uh, let's see, this is just the beginning. If we find a way to make it super kick-ass on Instagram, we can do it there too, or Facebook or whatever needs to happen. Um, but yeah, that concludes our live stream. So Thank you to the World Health Organization, you, to, yeah. to Global Citizen. Thank you to all the frontline workers. Your bravery and your dedication is not going unnoticed. And if the least we can do to say thank you is perform a little bit today, then I hope uh, we've done you proud. Thank you to everybody in the chat. Thank you to Charlotte for accepting the microphone. And uh, thank you, Gus, for collaborating with me finally to make this thank happen. Thank you, Lisa. It was such a pleasure. Right. So, yeah, thanks to Absolutely. everybody from my side as well. Thank you. All right, so we'll see you guys uh, on the other side at the next concerts, the next Firewind concerts, the next Arch Enemy concerts, festivals, yeah. whatever it is. 
Keep that positive thought in your head. If you're having a bad day, listen to music, take a deep breath, get through it one minute, one hour, one day at a time, and we're all going to get through this and we're going to be stronger for it. So thank you guys so much. Bye.